Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, H.R. 998, searching for and cutting regulations that are unnecessarily burdensome, also known as the Scrub Act, was introduced by our colleague Jason Smith. I happen to be a co-sponsor of this bill, as well as uh, the Judiciary Chairman Bob Goodlatte, uh, Pete Sessions, the, the uh, Rules uh, uh, Chairman, the gentleman from Texas. And we rise in support uh, of this bill, the Scrub Act. The regulatory accumulation is, uh, is a significant problem for the federal government. Year after year, federal agencies add regulation after regulation, piling onto an already very complex and crowded regulatory system. The Code of Federal Regulations, also known as the QFR, has some 100 and 78,000 pages. These are the regulations that you're supposed to understand if you're in a business, small business, big business, medium-sized business. It contains more than one million regulatory restrictions. And every year, the federal government adds, on average, nearly 12,000 new regulations on top of those. The regulatory accumulation considered, has considerable impact upon our economy. According to the Competitive Enterprise Institute, regulatory compliance hurts economic growth, growth by pulling nearly $1.8 trillion out of the economy. Regulations are particularly hard on small businesses that don't have the legal resources and the wherewithal to understand all of the complexities. Many small and business, uh, medium-sized businesses will be doing things that they don't necessarily even know or understand would, could be problematic. There is room for regulation. Don't, don't get me wrong. There, I'm not suggesting there should be no regulation, but... The gentleman will suspend. The House will come to order. The members will remove their conversations from the floor. The gentleman is recognized. Uh, I thank the chairman. So we're trying to clean up some of this regulation and weed out the good from the bad. The Scrub Act will enable the government to do so, and that's why I appreciate our colleague uh, Jason Smith for, for championing and bringing this bill to the floor again. The Scrub Act establishes a bipartisan, and I can't say that enough, a bipartisan retrospective regulatory review commission to conduct a comprehensive review of federal regulation. The commission's goal is to reduce regulatory costs to the, the economy by at least 15 percent. The Act char uh, charges the Commission with identifying outdated, obsolete, unnecessary regulation in need of repeal or amendment. The Commission gives priority to those regulations that are 15 years old and older. I think that's an appropriate uh, direction that they should go. The Commission will consist of regulatory experts chosen on a bipartisan basis and confirmed by the United States Senate. They will take a government-wide look at the regulatory system, allowing for an impartial and wide-ranging review of outdated and unnecessary regulations. This is not a new or a partisan concept. In fact, in 1978, President Jimmy Carter issued an executive order requiring agencies to, quote, periodically review their existing regulations to determine whether they are achieving the policy goals, end quote. In addition, every president since has required some level of retrospective regulatory self-review by those agencies themselves. In fact, it was President Obama who issued three executive orders on regulatory review. He required agencies to develop retrospective review plans and to set priorities for implementing that review. The Commission is tasked with identifying regulations that ought to be repealed or amended. The Commission will use common sense criteria to determine whether regulations are overlaps, duplicates, or just flat out conflicts with existing regulations. After expedited congressional approval, agencies are required to repeal some regulations based on the committee's regulations. So you have people that are selected, their Senate confirmed, then they bring forward a package that is allowed to be viewed by Congress. And so some have said, well, you know, this is uh, excusing Congress from its duties, quite to the contrary. The committees, members, everybody should be paying attention to this, but to have a bipartisan group go out and look and make a recommendation, then it's up to Congress to whether or not accept that. We need to go through the House, the Senate, and be signed on by the President in a bipartisan way because there will be members from both sides of the, of the aisle that will be able to appoint uh, members. Other regulations would be subject to innovative regulatory cut-go procedure. The cut-go process gives agencies flexibility on how to prioritize regulatory elimination. It allows agencies to choose which regulations to repeal or amend and at what time. However, new regulations may not be promulgated until equally, cost regulations, equally costly regulations are repealed. 
This rub act gives agencies the direction and momentum needed to implement the regulatory reform our economy needs. We all know that regulations can improve health and safety, but sometimes, with the best intention, these outdated and excessive regulations hurt our economy and put other people in jeopardy. The accumulation over decades is something that should just simply be reviewed. I, I think it's pretty hard to argue that a review process is unwarranted or unneeded, given the amazing uh, and, and impactful uh, uh, status that it puts upon uh, those things that are damaging our economy. I again want to thank uh, Jason Smith for his leadership on this issue. Um, I also want to thank uh, Chairman Bob Goodlatte and the judici judiciary staff for their dedicated uh, work on this, as well as Chairman Pete Sessions for his good work on this. Um, a lot of good people have worked on this. I do support it. And with that, I'll reserve the balance of our time.